Hello friends. In this video, we shall discuss objective type questions on charge in the electricity chapter. Objective type questions include multiple choice questions, assertion and reason type, one word question and answer according to CBSE board pattern. And this presentation will help you also for entrance exam and various competitive exams in basic electrical engineering. Are we ready? Yes, we shall start the session now. Here is the first question. Define one coulomb of charge. So how do we define one coulomb? Let us consider that we have two charges okay, of same charge. Okay. They are placed one meter distance apart. And what is the force that is exerted between them? The force is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. This is the distance between them, R. And in order to remove this proportionality sign, we have a constant and that constant is K. K depends on the medium. What medium the charge is placed? Okay, in which medium the charge is placed? If it is vacuum, then the value of K is 9 into 10 to the power 9. The value of K is going to be 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. This will be the value of K. Right. So now let us see what are all the options given and which will be the correct answer. One Coulomb is the quantity of electric charge which exerts a force of 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton on an equal charge placed at a distance of 1 meter from it. Okay. Second option is one Coulomb is that quantity of electric charge which exerts a force of 9 into 10 to the power 8 Newton on an equal charge placed at a distance of 1 meter from it. No, it is not 9 into 10 to the power 8. It is 9 into 10 to the power 9. So, first option is correct. And third option is 9 into 10 to the power minus 9. That's wrong. And the fourth option is 9 into 10 to the power minus 8 Newton. That's also wrong. So, therefore, the correct option would be A. So, the correct answer is A. Let us see the second question. What is the unit of electric charge? Ampere, B option, Coulomb, C, Volt and D, Watt. The correct option is Coulomb. The SI unit of electric charge is Coulomb. Third question. What actually travels through the wires? when you switch on a light. What will flow through the conductor? Electrons, protons, neutron or none? We have already discussed in atomic structure that is when I discussed the basic electrical engineering series 1 that is electron negatively charged particles are responsible for the flow of current. So therefore, we can say the wires inside the wires what actually will travel when you switch on the light electrons correct answer is option a next question fourth one which particles constitute the electric current in a metallic conductor 
this in the another way they have asked okay which particles will constitute current in metallic conductor it is going to be electrons only option a correct answer is option a in which direction do electrons flow see suppose if we take a circuit okay with a cell and we have a lamp which has been connected to it so the current will be flowing from the positive terminal current will flow from the positive terminal but the electrons will be flowing from the negative terminal so the flow of electrons will be this way from negative terminal to positive terminal okay so let us see which option would be correct option a is negative terminal of a battery to positive terminal option b is positive terminal of a battery to negative terminal so electrons will be flowing from negative terminal of a battery to positive terminal yes this is the option a is correct answer fine sixth question a current of 4 amps flows around a circuit for 10 seconds. How much charge flows past a point in the circuit in this time? So, what are the data given? We need to write first of all. The given data is current. Current is 4 amps. Right? And time. 10 seconds so how much a charge so we know the formula for charges i is equal to sorry q is equal to i into t i is equal to q by t where q is equal to i into t so we just substitute the values 4 into 10 okay so which is going to be 40 seconds uh, 40 that is 10 seconds into 4 amps which is going to be 40 coulomb the SI unit of the charge is coulomb so let us see the option option A 30 coulomb option B 40 coulomb option C 50 coulomb and option D 60 coulomb the correct option is 40 coulomb option B fine seventh problem a radio set draws a current of 0 0.36 amps for 15 minutes. Calculate the amount of electric charge that flows through the circuit. So here we need to write what all the data is given. So current is given. Current is 0 0.36 amps and time is given in minutes. Time is given in minutes. We need to convert to seconds. So 15 into 60 right and current is 0 0.36 amps so now we need to multi, uh, we need to find electric charge electric charge is given by q q is equal to i into t right so i is 0 0.36 okay so 0 0.36 into yeah we will write here so 0 0.36 is the current so 0 0.36 can be written as 36 divided by 100 so we know that a q is equal to i into t right so i is 0 0.36 that is i can write it as 36 by 100 into time time is what 15 into 60 15 into 60 I have to convert it into seconds right so now what we do is this 0 and 0 get cancelled and 10 5 2s are 10 and 5 3s are 15 okay and then uh, this 2 and uh, 6 get cancelled so 
टू थ्री सार सिक्स थ्री थ्री सार नाइन सो थर्टी सिक्स इंटू नाइन सो नाइन सिक्स सार फिफ्टी फोर नाइन थ्री सार ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी टू सो द आंसर विल बी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर को लूम ऑप्शन सी के ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग यूनिट्स कुड बी यूज टू मेशर इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज वी नो दस ए यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज इज वॉट कूलम ऑप्शन ए एम्पियर ऑप्शन बी को जूल ऑप्शन सी ओल्ट एंड ऑप्शन डी कोलुम सो ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर कोलुम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन कोलुम चार्ज इज इक्वल इन टू द चार्ज कंटेन्ड इन टू पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पवर नाइनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्स पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन टू द पवर नाइनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो हि we should know one coulomb is the total charge given and and we know charge of one electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this we know the charge of one electron and how to find n the number of electrons no so one coulomb charge is equivalent to charge contained in <laughs> so we need to find number of electrons number of electrons how can we find q we know q is equal to n into e where n is equal to what q by e right so q by e so q we know it is 1 so 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 it's going to be 6.2 into 6.25 into 10 to the power 19 electrons so option b so actually they have given the two options so in that the correct answer would be it should be 10 to the power 18 electrons 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons okay fine so the next one is if the current through a flood lamp is 5 amps what charge passes in 10 seconds so the given data is current and the other data is time so how to find the charge q q is equal to i into t q is equal to i into t so 5 into Okay, five into ten. It is fifty coulomb. The answer would be fifty coulomb. Option C. Eleventh question: An electric bulb draws a current of zero point two five amps for twenty minutes. Calculate the amount of electric charge that flows through the circuit. We need to find the amount of the electric charge having given the current and time so the same way how we have done the previous problem we need to do so here current is 0.25 amps and time given as 20 minutes we need to convert to seconds so 20 into 60 so we write q is equal to 25 divided by 100 so 0.25 can be written as 25 divided by 100 into time so what is time Twenty into sixty, right? So zero 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 get cancel. So twenty five into twelve. So twenty five into two is fifty. Fifty fifty into six. It's going to be three hundred coulomb. So the correct answer would be. Let us see which option. Option A, hundred coulomb. Option B, two hundred coulomb. Option C, three hundred coulomb. And option D is four hundred coulomb. The correct answer is option C. Twenty-five into sixty. 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 Twenty
12th question calculate the number of electrons constituting one coulomb of charge so we know n is equal to q by e q is 1 coulomb and e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay with this we need to find the number of electrons so how to go about with this you multiply numerator and denominator you take this 10 to the power minus 19 to the numerator 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power 19 okay 19 coulomb so now uh, here I can uh, multiply numerator and denominator by 10 okay so if so I'll get 10 divided by 16 10 divided by 16 into 10 to the power 19 I can split that into 10 into 10 to the power 18 okay so what will happen it will become 10 into 10 is 100 100 by 16 what is 100 divided by 16 so 16 uh, 6 are 96 remainder 4 so keep a dot and uh, put 0 so here it is 16 twos are 32 remainder 8 and um, you have to put 0 here so now uh, 16 fives are it is uh, 80 so remainder 0 so we get 6.25 and the power we have is 10 to the power 18 so the answer is 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 coulomb that is option b is the correct answer fine next question a current of 0.5 amps is drawn by a filament of electric bulb for 10 minutes. What is the amount of electric charge that flows through the electric circuit? Okay. So here the current is 0.5 amps and time is 10 minutes. So we need to convert 10 minutes to seconds. So 10 into 60 so 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so therefore it is 600 seconds so we need to find q q is equal to i into t where i is 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay can be written as 5 divided by 10 okay or 1 by 2 right so 1 divided by 2 into 10 into 60 or 600 you can have okay 600 divided by 2 is what it is 300 300 coulomb so q is equal to 300 coulomb so let us see the option option a is 600 option b is 200 option c is 300 coulomb so correct answer is 300 coulomb 14th question how many number of electrons constitute one coulomb of charge this we have already seen in the previous problem 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 coulomb. question number 16 static electricity deals with electric charges at dash while the current electricity deals with electric charges in dash see the word static means at rest whereas current electricity deals with the charges in motion okay flow of electrons isn't it so therefore the option would be a so a is the correct answer 16th question a current of 1 amps is drawn by a filament of electric bulb so having given the current we need to find the number of electrons passing through a cross section of filament in 16 seconds would be roughly so they are asking the number of electrons so we need to write what is given what to find okay so let us write that current is given and time is given as 16 seconds so directly it is given as seconds and we need to find the number of electrons how to find the number of electrons number of electrons q okay uh, q is equal to i into t okay 
but there are they have asked us to find the number of electrons right so that means we know the formula q is equal to n into e n into e is equal to i into t where n is equal to i into t divided by e right so therefore n will be equal to i is 1 and t is 16 seconds divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb so here 16 this 10 power minus so 19 can be taken to the numerator and 16 uh, in order to make denominator 16 we need to multiply by 10 okay or else uh, we can cancel this one point is 6 and 16 right so we can write that and uh, this 10 raised to minus uh, 19 when it goes up it will be uh, 10 raised to plus 19 so 10 into so we get this as 10 so 10 into 10 raised to 19 it's going to be 10 raised to 20 so the correct option would be a The last question, <coughs> assertion and reason type. A conductor has 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb charge. Okay, this is the charge of a conductor. And uh, tell me whether the assertion is true or false. Yes, the conductor can have whatever the charge may be. Okay, it has got 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb charge that's true and reason given is conductor has gained two electrons this we should verify okay so what shall we do they have given the conductor has a total charge of 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and uh, a charge of one electron we know that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb this is charge of one electron okay so how to find n n is equal to q by e so this is equal to 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by <coughs> 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so minus 19 minus 19 get cancelled this and this get cancelled it's two so two electrons so here uh, can you check the conductor is having plus 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb charge that means it is having positive charge so which means it has lent two electrons that means it is deficit of two electrons Okay, when a conductor is having positive charge, that means it has lost two electrons. It is deficit of two electrons. Do you think that the reason is correct? They have given gained two electrons. No. Of course, it is two electrons. Number of electrons is two. But it has not gained. If it had gained, it would have got a negative sign here. Okay. But it has, it is deficit by two electrons. Okay. So, the reason is false. So, let us see which is the correct answer, the options given. Both assertion and reason are true and the reason is correct explanation of assertion. No, assertion is true but the reason is false, right? Okay, the third, second option is both assertion and reason are true but reason is not correct explanation of assertion. Both are not true. Assertion is true, but reason is false. Yes, assertion is true. Correct. Reason is false. Absolutely. So, option C is the correct answer. Assertion is false. Option D is, assertion is false, but the reason is true. No, it can't be. So, the correct answer would be, option C, assertion is true, but reason is false. In this video, 
I have discussed the objective type questions on the topic charge in the electricity chapter. Hope this was very useful to you all. If you like the video, kindly click the like button and share to all your friends so that they will also be benefited. Please subscribe my channel to get notification for the upcoming videos. Thank you.